Hey guys, uh, so the question comes up, should you walk the meseta? So I hear this uh, from people when they're just starting out on the Camino, uh, people who are there for their first time. A lot of times they've already made plans to skip the meseta. Um, they've been talked out of doing it. Uh, they've read online comments that sort of scared them away from it. Um, the, the meseta is nothing to be afraid of. It is an area that's... Uh, uh, has a little less diversity in the scenery, uh, but it's really peaceful out there. Um, you know, it's different than, than uh, you know, the first part of the Camino where you're walking through Pamplona and Burgos. Uh, the Meseta is basically a lot of farmland um, and sort of flat scenery, and there's not a lot of shade out there. So if you're walking in the warmer uh, season, um, you know, it can get quite hot. Uh, but it was really nice. Um, I've done it in both the spring and the fall, in September and, uh, and basically early June or late May. Um, and it was really nice. Um, you know, the, the, the uh, best part about the Meseta is that it's, uh, you, you don't have a lot of distractions. So this is kind of where you end up bonding with the people that you've uh, sort of uh, befriended on the Camino. Um, I kind of think of the Camino in, in terms of thirds, uh, with the first section being uh, from St. John Pia de Port to Burgos. Um, and during that, uh, during that phase of the Camino, you're working mostly on your physical um, you know, training. Uh, you know, your feet hurt, you're maybe treating some blisters, your legs hurt, uh, you're getting used to the backpack, so you're doing your physical training. Um, you know, to get ready for, uh, you know, for the rest of the Camino. Um, and then the Meseta comes when, uh, you know, after Burgos and you head out and this is more of a mental and spiritual training. Um, this is where you'll spend a lot of time with friends because there's not much else to do there. There's not really any stores to shop at. There's not, uh, you know, a lot of uh, elaborate buildings. It's just a lot of small little rural farm towns and so generally the thing to do out, out in this Meseta is, uh, is to sit in restaurants and drink wine and to sit and talk with your friends. Um, so the problem is if you skip the Meseta, um, a lot of people will say I'm going to walk to Burgos and then I'm going to take a bus and I'm going to head to Lyon because I don't want to do the Meseta. Uh, what happens is you've spent time, you know, for the first 10 days making friends with people. Um, you know, and sort of building your Camino, Camino family, your group, and then you take off uh, and you leave them all behind and you never really see them again. So, and then you end up in, uh, let's say, Lyon, um, and you don't know anybody. And the people that are in Lyon, they all have their groups, they have their Camino family, they've done the Meseta together, and they've bonded, and you're sort of the, out, the outcast person. Um, so, you know, so my recommendation is to not skip the Meseta and to walk it straight through. It's not hard, there's no difficult terrain, it's just nice, easy, um, flat farm roads. And um, bond with your, you know, with your Camino family, the friends that you make on the Camino. And, um, and uh, when you get to Santiago, it'll be that much more meaningful. There'll be a big celebration. You'll have people that have experienced the entire thing with you. Probably some tears because it's very emotional. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that middle section is, in my opinion, the most important part. And it's also the most enjoyable part. Um, it, it doesn't have the, you know, all the party atmosphere that you have in Pamplona or Lyon. So anyway, so take, uh, take the time, go through the Meseta, don't, uh, you know, don't skip over it and uh, enjoy your time on the Camino.